Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Valorant Sunday Showdown week number 59. My name's Dilly G. I'm alongside the illustrious Bemi, and we are here to bring you the group stage action here in today's event. We have a really exciting matchup on offer here today. Trade like pros going up against Recon 5. Bemi, let me know how you're feeling about these teams. I'm feeling pretty hype. I mean, I actually know Anakin for, uh, with an extensive background in esports. So the fact that they've started an orc, this has been fairly uh, been around for a while now. It's still cool just to see it, just sort of knowing the journey and the origins and how much growth Anakin has had uh, of just being a person, an amazing gamer overall to create this atmosphere for their players. Meanwhile, Recon 5, still very accomplished players. Uh, I'm a little less um, up to date on them, but I do know that they've had some pretty good performances over in the past of the VSS. So obviously this is still going to be a good map and we're getting into probably what is a very significant one. We're going to the last sort of week of utility heavy meta, uh, post plant meta as some people call it. Uh, for this uh, tournament. So this is going to be a very significant one, D. This is say, say goodbye to some of these agents. You may not see Jet as often as we're seeing right now in this agent loadout we're seeing for Ascent. No, you're absolutely right about that. And I think, honestly, the new meta is going to be a boon to our observers. I think there's going to be a lot less vision denial in their way. There's going to be a lot more gunplay. It's going to make things, I think, a little more exciting on our end hopefully a little less flashes. I know that's been a contentious Please. issue, uh, you know, keeping an eye on social media. People are rather tired it. of the multicolored <laughs> blinds. What, you mean the light show wasn't pretty enough for you guys? Come on. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I'm, I, I'm honestly just thinking that we're going to see not that heavy of, of agent switch ups, but we are going to see quite a significant amount of change ups of just like sparing utility, what's really worth in the long run. It's going to be such an uncharted territory, a wild west aspect to approaching how this meta will go. But here we go, beginning with recon on the defense. We'll see how well they do. It is obviously a killjoy and an astron there. So B is uh, going to be usually tucked in, but we actually see all the utility kind of invested over into A site. So it looks like TLP heads in their bets uh, in, a, in a safe investment, only having to deal with one star and a Sova. So looking pretty good right now. Yeah, TLP making the right call on site selection here. Recon 5 really have gone all in on the A site here. And here comes the all in on B site from uh, Trade Like Pros, but it's gonna be Mazza from the side of Recon 5 getting the first kill. Zypher chimes in, Mazza gets the double oh! kill with the shock dart, but it's three kills for the way of Trade Like Pros starting off this round in a big way. Now Simple gaining some ground for the defenders as the spike goes down. Did what they could to make sure that their team stayed alive and had a chance to win this pistol. Recon 5 did a great job, but now this post plan situation looking mighty tough, covering lane and stairs and having the information thanks to Chippo. They are aware that both are coming from market, so they're just going to keep an eye out and wrap this up. A shock dart. Oh, no, actually, they're not going to drop that. Excuse me. They're dropping that. The intel, the star comes out. They at least managed to get the trades to 1v1, but the jet is badly tagged, and it looks like they are just going to try to commit to it. Almost get baited out. Will the head tap happen? No, it's just a ring around the rosy, but they run too quickly, but there's not enough time to defuse, and there we go. Trade like pros, a little bit scary at the end. We'll still be able to win that all important pistol round here. A little messy there at the end, but Chippo got it done there. A little ring around the rosy, as you said, a little musical chairs, as it were, dancing Indeed. around that back of sight. But it was Chippo and the attackers of Trade Like Pros winning out in the end. And looking at the start of that round, really not surprising is Recon 5, we said it as the round got started, all of their defensive utility investment went over towards the A site and that was gone completely to waste. Now they're setting up on the A site once more, but so are Trade Like Pros. Looks like we are heading for that battle that Recon 5 were looking for in the previous round. And they're ready for it. No utility just this time. There's not much money to work with at the moment. They are going to try to get some information. Drop the hot hands to stop the doggo from doing anything. But they know for a fact this is just going to be a heavy push towards it. Maybe they can at least make it expensive for TLP. But I do have a gut feeling that this is just going to be locked out. They might actually just rotate out of this. They might just take the pick and 
walk away with their lives intact as a full stack. And that's exactly what they're doing here, Dilly. Yeah, absolutely. They're running away from this one, but Trage, uh, excuse me, Recon 5 rather, not at all fooled. They sent the rotate over at the exact same time, so both sides ready to greet each other now. On the opposite side of the map, Recon 5 having dropped a member already, but Mazza looking to get those numbers back. Ooh. Oh, had the drop, but doesn't have oh. the aim. Loses out to Tanaka, and it's going to be Tanaka picking up the triple kill there. Gifted a second chance of life. Uh, courtesy there of the misfortune of Mazza and so a clean second round here for trade like pros no one-to-one -one start no rocky start there for the attackers on ascent after the first round yes it was not a rocky start for sure uh but after that it looks great a flawless plus plant bonus that's not there's not a, a full bonus round to work with and maybe make it expensive for your opponents there's nothing really you could ask for more on the attacker side of ascend tlp living up to the hype right now one away from also the blade storm they could do some serious damage with that as well if they really want to prioritize the skill orb which is looking like what they want to do the star the gravity well makes stealthy totally vulnerable they managed to grab the skill orb and tanaka is online and ready for action d yeah, Tanaka now on the hunt, knives in hand. I can't believe Tanaka was able to steal away that alt point. Uh, Recon 5 had thrown absolutely everything that way. Still, Tanaka able to sneak away with that one. Does get spotted mm. out by the alarm bot. And that gives Recon 5 a good idea as to where the play is coming. You can see already now Stealthy oh, started to back away, but is actually going to still hold this position over towards Garden. Meanwhile, Trade Like Pros have set their sight on a B site. Tanaka leading the charge. is pushed up so far, but is going to have to break through this door if they want to enter through the site that way there is a little bit of help from zypher opens the door for tanaka such a gentleman is zypher and tanaka now sending the <laughs> daggers towards stealthy he's not gonna able to connect there now only three daggers remaining tanaka pushing out onto site goes up oh almost over De does smoke out simple now once again tanaka Reveal. goes up but gets clipped oh. there chippo now getting in on the action but it's rep picking up the triple kill now and simple on the side chimes in and that was a clean defusal of the situation. No defusal of the spike needed from Recon 5 getting themselves on the board in the third round. A valiant effort from TLP, and I love that they managed to get the Bladestorm online. They were like, Tanaka's having a good day, so let's see where we can go with this. Tried to make it as expensive as possible. Unfortunately, not the case. They will be able to just buy back into this round with only losing one member and keep up the momentum. Though, that being said, I actually pop a smurf. Lacking in the health department will probably play in the back a little bit more. They really aren't being that aggressive. It's a lot of the stars that are kind of coming into the power play for TLP. So I'm sure Astro is just going to be hanging out in the back for the rest of this map for a lot of the first half at least. Certainly controlling things from the back of sight, much like a general, you know, calling the shots, landing the stars. I think that's part of a general's job, surely. Surely yeah. there's some galactic element to it. I mean, in Star Wars, they're fighting in the front lines. But yeah, there you go. Lines. Yeah, Star Wars General. I, I I can't believe I missed Star Wars General there. So now General. Chippo General. headed <laughs> headed oh, towards an engagement here with Stealthy and Hooligan. Stealthy's going to win out that particular duel. Gets the damage out onto Chippo. Oh, and now Chippo Boy. between a rock and a hard blaze. And Simple, meanwhile, on the flank. Takes down Tanaka. Takes down Papa Smurf through the smoke. Simple with the reeds picks up the double kill and this is tlp's attack completely dismantled before it even got started a jedi general fighting in the front line simple is meanwhile papa smurf unfortunately did go down tried to put up the fight but yeah this is actually gonna start falling to the wayside for tlp what looked like a brilliant momentum for them it's just slowly falling apart like a brisket sandwich and this is about it might be almost a flawless it will be and they are actually going to be having to send the economy back spiraling for the side of tlp they won't have much to work with and the lead will be taken back by recon 5 a great opportunity to build up all some some ultimates as well just a few skill points away from a a bunch of them actually won for pretty much the majority or two so they might prioritize to take these skill orbs they know they have the money advantage they know they have the weapon advantage things are looking up for recon 5 now with this defense position here d 
Yeah, you mentioned those skill points. This is a prime opportunity for Recon 5. If they can clean up this round, get those necessary skill points, they come into the next full buy round with a full suite of ultimates and actually Scary. PLB rather far away from that. They do have the lockdown in the hands of Zypher as well as Chippo has the Hunter's Fury in the back pocket. But you have to imagine if Maz is able to get that Hunter's Fury of his own on the side of Recon 5, that's the lockdown from Zypher completely taken out. Should Mazza have the read on that? Oh, Stealthy, though, has got the read on Papa Smurf. Takes his head off, and now Hooligan revealed. Still going for the challenge, nonetheless. TLP trying to find a sneaky way into a site here. Oh, and they may have just found it through this mid-corridor. Ships in the night just for that one moment. Though, the player with the spike being held is going to be caught out by Simple, but not picked off, as they will be able to continue through market. But they have all the information all the info that recon needs to close this out they also hear the footsteps simple ready to do this one two three lines up perfectly tanaka gets a couple of their own off screen which is very nice but that's going to be about it not enough damage to really do anything to recon five in this current standpoint and there we go a couple of ultimates online the Hunter's Fury isn't even online yet Mazza will have to put in a little extra work if they don't want this lockdown to be scary yeah, actually, Simple may have done, uh, you know, a bit of a mistake there by getting that triple kill. Not a little disservice, the, yeah. Yeah, not sharing the wealth with their teammates, and that actually keeps a fair number of ultimates off the board there for Recon 5. And one thing that's really interesting about that round is we did see Tanaka picking up that double kill with the Sheriff. That may soon become a thing of the past here with the uh, increases in utility. If you're going to want to buy a Sheriff, it means you're not getting any sort of utility, so... So that will be an interesting progression to see after this week. But still, the Sheriff very much in play this week. And Simple now in play in the attacker's killjoy, in the attacker lockdown, trying to find a way to escape. But Tanaka is uh, going to get the mow down for the opening kill. Unfortunately, just not much that can work with right now. And there we go. Nipping him in the bud. Attacker also, the lockdown manages to detain one player. I don't think they'll be able to capitalize on it. But it certainly slows down the progression and gets them into a nice post plant bonus. Simple popping off has literally popped them off with the opportunity to clutch this back with some ultimates for Recon 5. TLP looking prime to just go ahead and tie the series, it looks like. I'm almost that confident here, D. Absolutely. This is a very much a solid position here for TLP, but they've still got to hold onto the site. Rep does get the opening kill, finds a lot of damage, won't find the second kill. Masa dropping down from heaven. Oh, so close on the turn. Papa Smurf finds two before getting sniped out by Stealthy, but Stealthy, there's simply nothing left in this round for Stealthy. He's just going to have to go for an exit frag, and that's TLP weathering the storm, weathering the retake from Recon 5 and getting themselves back on equal footing with the defenders. Now, though, Recon 5 in the position where they would have wanted to have been last round. They've got a full kit of ultimates and a full kit of guns now to try and retake the lead. And it's an ideal situation. While we maybe have, have teased a little bit about that simple 3K, it is not the end of the world. It's really just sort of... Uh, unfortunate timing it does give TLP a little bit of leeway, but still they're not out of the woods yet. They don't have that much money. We even see Tanaka going for the Blade Storm approach, trying to make it economically sound for them and just see what they can do and play catch up. Hooligan does manage to get the first pack, and here comes the Blade Storm coming from the other side as well. TLP not looking good to try to bring back the lead. Recon haven't even really need to drop an ultimate yet in the good crossfire setup there they're not being aggressive they're not being uh, too opportunistic they're being safe about this d and i love this from recon 5. yeah absolutely it was tlp who really tried to force the issue here in this round and recon 5 held steadfast and that's a prime example of it stealthy with the snipe down the mid corridor takes down zypher only two attackers remaining here for trade like pros and papa smurf Oh, moments away from disaster there. Here comes the push, and there comes the kill. Rep takes down the spike carrier. Now all down to Chippo here in the 1v5, and there's uh -oh. all sorts of obstacles in the Sova's way. It's going to be yet another flawless round here for Recon 5, and it only cost them to run it back in Bladestorm there uh, from, uh, from Stealthy. So not as much of an investment as it could have been here for Recon 5, and now they've got still... Three big game-changing ultimates on the board and TLP, not much in response.
Yeah, a lot of their ultimates are more just sort of like recon at the moment, which doesn't give them much to work with. They're actually going to try to buy up here. The loss bonus isn't that great, but they've rounded down to 2k doing what they can. But if they get another flawless, recon 5 is pretty much set for the rest of this half. It's just so powerful in their position. And if they drop no ultimates and not being too eager like they have been, um, they will be in a great position continuing on fourth, and that's exactly what they're doing. This is almost a throwaway round here at this point, D. Yeah, it does seem like it. You talk about a power position. Well, Hooligan has a power position here in mid. Has been finding all sorts of kills in back-to-back -back rounds here. That's a double kill now for Hooligan in the mid corridor, completely reigning control over that part of the map here. And now you can see TLP getting backed into a corner hey. by the defenders. They are on the hunt. Both revealed as well. There's not really much that they can escape from here. Whiff one, one shot. Will manage to at least find Hooligan, but honestly, there's no economic damage to be found here. There's just really just another skill point going to Hooligan to just be halfway there to the run it back. So really, you've done more damage fragging them in a way, which is kind of funny to think about. But anyways, all good. They've done their job. They've, they've went to Eco prison for a little bit now they're back out doing what they can or timeout eco timeout and uh they do have a few ones still to work with uh they do have to worry about the lockdown but not anymore thanks to chippo having the hunter's fury they could drop the jelly dogs from sky and do what they can with those there's them i mean they oh they're getting really confident here this is the first time hooligans really pressured out oh, oh that man. was a beautiful play That's there the from spike. recon five that was an excellent combination. And now, oh, Grim walks right into the oh, face of danger, man. trying to recover the spike. This is absolutely offensive defense coming in from Recon 5. They are storming the gate. They are knocking down the castle walls here. And Stealthy now on oh. the triple kill. Absolutely nothing in it for TLP. I was gonna say before that round got started, this needed to be a turnaround round for Trade Like Pros, but it was exactly the opposite. It was simple. Simple business as usual for Recon 5, picking up their sixth round on the match. And as you said at Bemi, they are more than set for the rest of this half. They are, and apparently showing a little confidence too, but great coordination coming in with that. I thought Hooligan was just trying to go for an opening pick, but no, there was a lot of coordination thanks to that Sova. So this shows a lot of the sort of comms and brain, big brain plays that we're seeing from here. Already off the bat, this eco is going to be a little bit difficult. They dropped the, the divider, which is going to be helpful. If it was able to find anything after 3k, Chippa will be able to stop the bleeding, but has there already been enough blood shed that it's not going to be worth it? Well, you want to talk about staying cool under pressure. Mazo was under all sorts of pressure there. The Cosmic Divide walled him into highway, and all of a sudden, five members of Trade Like Pros, one of them being Tanaka going up and over his head, and still Maza kept it cool, held it down for the 3K, that uh, spray chance for working wonders. And now, I mean, not now, still, Recon 5 firmly in the driver's seat. They're setting cruise control just right. They got their seat tilted back just so. And you see Stealthy way on top of the leaderboard there. 11 and 4, really rolling, getting those op kills in early, get it, building that confidence. And you can see Stealthy with the positioning, not afraid to take a fight. Also, the cycle of ultimates going on right now has been great. Really just holding on to those for a rainy day. We, I mean, I think this is a little bit of also Recon just kind of doing their homework, starting to practice more of just relying on gunplay and trades. We know that the updates are going to make things economically expensive if you really want to go beyond the weapons. So here we go. This is already them just doing some great plays, a lot of backing up. This is very C-like tactics, but they will try to go for a pick and unfortunately will get punished. Maybe this is finally the opening TLP needs or not. Simple gets four, almost gets the ace, except Papa Smurf able to at least not have them have line of sight, but 
There is nothing else you can do on 1v3, but the location's been revealed. You're at Gen. Everybody knows this, and they're coming for you. You're the cool kid at school, and everybody wants to be around you. But maybe not for the right reasons, unfortunately, as they're all gunning for you. And this is going to be it, D. Another round of the board, 8-3. to three. Oh, man. These Recon 5 bullies trying to steal Papa Smurf's lunch money here yeah. on a site. I can't believe it, though. Uh, how did Simple get away with that 4K? I, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. There was, there was a I, lot of stars, man. There were a lot, lot, of, stars. lot of stars. The, the stars aligned, if you will, uh, yes. for that 4K, that quadra kill here for Simple. Papa Smurf, though, aligning some stars of his own now on the triple kill, brings himself into the 1v1 and clutches Yo! it out. Papa Smurf says you're not stealing my lunch money today. Oh, Goodness man. gracious, He's... Papa Smurf Jesus. keeping trade like pros very much alive in this match. I spoke too soon. I apologize to Papa we Smurf. We did. We we had, we had signed off that round. Hey, man. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't expecting Recon 5 with the way they're so well coordinated to give three 1v1s, but here we are. It happens sometimes. All right. Well, last round and a half. Let's close it out. In fashion, a 5-7 would be very welcoming for TLP, especially moving on to the defense side of the map. And if they win that pistol, they tie up the Sears, and this would be all golden goose. So this round has a lot of importance to have TLP not need much of a comeback here. Papa Smurf, uh, it's Father's Day, and he's carrying his kids. Wow. I, I mean, brilliant connection made there. Uh, between the holiday and Papa Smurf getting the clutch. It is the Father's Day buff, if you will. The lockdown rain, <laughs> reigning over a site here for the side of Recon 5, and that's going to help Simple find the head of Tanaka. So the opening kill going towards the defenders. The opening two kills okay. going towards the defenders. Stealthy picking up that snipe. And I've got to say, that last round certainly feels like a, a splash of cold water to the face of Recon 5. Just a bit of a sobering round for them, understanding they can't exactly cruise to victory. They will still have to fight for every round, no matter the situation. And now TLP with three members remaining, trying to fight for this A site with that cosmic divide, holding off the defenders. Grim sends out the pigeon and runs right into the waiting arms of Rep, picking up that kill. Meanwhile, Hooligan and Chippo trade kills. The kill feed lighting oh. up red and green, resulting in a green victory. It is Recon 5 closing out the half 8-4, to four, but Bemi, if not for that clutch from Papa Smurf, we're almost certainly heading to a 9-3 to three half for Recon 5. Well, that's definitely how the rounds work, but certainly also a much easier of a comeback for TLP in this regard as well. They're moving on to the defense side with, you know, you know, it is a mirror matchup, but this is, or almost a mirror matchup, not entirely, but still either way, a big deal here. They can slow down a lot of the pushes here for Recon 5 with the jet, or excuse me, the sky with the flashes. There's a lot of utility, and I'm, I'm interested to see how TLP will play out. They certainly have a couple of rounds to afford a couple of mistakes, but this time they need to sort of punch down focus. The pistol needs to allow them this breathing space, but they're already trying to prioritize orbs. They're falling back. They are playing for picks, though, but unfortunately they will not find one. Recon 5 actually gets the first blood, and that is a bad sign as they lose their Sova. Yeah, absolutely. Stealthy there. Really gutsy peek from mid corridor for an attacker, but absolutely able to challenge Chippo there and take them out for that opening kill. Now with the 5v4 advantage, Recon 5 on the attack, setting their sights on a site. Grim here has a bit of an angle, but it's not going to be able to land shots. Meanwhile, getting shots landed on them is Rep getting taken out by Tanaka, bringing us to a 4v4 okay. here. Does look like the spike plant will go down for Recon 5 as Tanaka sets up for a flank on the backside. The Sova's ready as well for it. They will try to take on this duel. So it is kind of a, essentially a 3v3 technically. And Smurf trying their best, but the hot hands is going to do too much damage and they'll just rock it down all the way. Zephyr will try their best. They do know they're at trait. They do have a little bit of damage, so that does comfort them, but they don't have much time to work with here. The clock working against Zypher here in this position. Oh, finding the damage, not finding the kill, and simple there. Oh. With the patience needed, nice takes down Zypher. And so the ninth round coming to Recon 5, a round they might have thought 
would have come to them in the first half, but it comes to them in the opening stages of the second half instead. Not too much of a difference, but Recon 5 here, you can see from the timeline, they've really not faltered very much throughout this match, only dropping a couple rounds after those opening two rounds TLP were able to pick up. TLP really need to find stability here in the second half. It's definitely going to come up from these defensive setups, but so far Recon 5 here in this second round, playing farther back, definitely not as aggressive you might, as you might have expected. Yeah, well, TLP has been kind of presenting this aggression in the attack half, so Recon's kind of given the read that maybe this defense will be much like that, but... TLP having a good read themselves. They understand the position that you just described, Dilly. They are doing a full save right now. So expect a little more aggression this round. Expect them just to try to see what they can do with some classics. They're not really concerned with this round. They just want to make it expensive, and that's totally okay with me. So a good read from TLP, and I'll give them credit for that. Less than a minute remaining now in this 14th round. Maza with a troop of attackers able to push his way through the mid corridor. And now here comes the XQ. Only two members of Trade Like Pros on B site ready to greet them. Meanwhile, in mid, Stealthy takes out Zypher. That's a cornerstone of the defense taken out. Tanaka, though, able to land a couple cheeky right clicks, take out Hooligan and Papa Smurf, able to take advantage of the situation. Chippo oh, now boy. coming in for reinforcements. These are the classics working wonders up against Recon 5 here. And Papa Smurf with the upgrade takes down Simple and now Stealthy in a 1v2. Certainly not a position where Stealthy would have expected to have to clutch, but a clutch is required of the attacker. Now less than 20 seconds remaining. Stealthy has got to start making choices. Reveals himself. Jumps down. Finds the headshot. Now Stealthy on the push. Papa Smurf with the jiggle peek. Now dancing away. Stealthy's got to make the call right. Finds the shoulder. Oh! Papa Smurf playing it perfectly now. Less than five seconds remaining. Stealthy's just got to push it. Stealthy it's time. goes for no. the clutch. The 1v2 for the triple kill. Putting Recon 5 onto double digits. Oh, I wanted the Father's Day clutch. I wanted the Papa clutch to happen. <laughs> but that was a really good try. If they, I really do feel like if they played for time, they would have been in a much better situation. But... You know, at the end of the day, we got to recognize this as a more of a victory for TLP in the long run here, D, because that was expensive as hell. I mean, Recon 5 bought into that second round, and now look at that. They are pretty much in shambles doing what they can against Odin, Operators, Full Rifles, uh, maybe even a Bladestorm if uh, Tanaka can find a couple of picks early on. But other than that, Recon, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They have to be a little more respectful of this. Maybe try to be aggressive. They are going to go for this eco blade storm, see what they can find here. But already the flank from Grim will happen. Yeah, but this flank from Trade Like Pros has got to be executed flawlessly because we know what kind of fire firepower that Recon 5 can bring to the table. And that's oh. the kind of firepower Tanaka is bringing. Snipes down Stealthy for the opening kill. The spike will go down here for Recon 5, but already they are suffering damage here. And Cypher on the flank, only able to find one. Papa Smurf, though, through heaven, finds a kill. And Chippo finds the double to clean it up. And that is Trade Like Pros finding some much-needed breathing room. But they are going to be put right back to the test here in the following round yeah no rest for the wicked at the moment is trade like pros needing to continue this further and uh unfortunately they haven't really been able to build up much of any type of ultimate economy but that might be okay if tlp can be a little more reserved and less aggressive they will be in a great position to do so i'll be interested to see this will be the first full buy round from both sides with the run it back available for hooligan and while they may not have shown up in the kill feed too too much they certainly know how to entry frag and get information so they better be on the watch out for that as hooligan could drop it at any given moment they so desire Very like pros sent three or excuse me two members up towards a main but they won't find a fight there stealthy meanwhile looking for a fight up mid covers both angles there with a the cloud burst and now is going to slink away into that corner recon five have established themselves some serious real estate in the opening stages of this round trade like pros they've fallen back a bit they're gonna have to find some sort of flank some sort of rotation 
but does look like Recon 5 have backed off a bit. And they're going to turn their sights on over to A site now. Hooligan with the run it back, trying to find some openings here. Does get burned down by the Nano Swarm grenade. So nothing doing from the run it back. Just a bit of intel here. It's going to spur on that advance onto A site here from Recon 5. Bait has some utility at the very least. And they will still be able to get the plant. So might not be the ideal run it back, but it certainly gave them value. The hot hands as well, nicely done. Just slowing them down. Here comes a flash. Stealthy from Cat will also help follow up with Hooligan. And there it is. The duelist coming in clutch and massive for their teammates. Looking great. Zypher doing what they can to push out. But yeah, this is Recon 5 bringing it back, doing what they can. It's a 2v5 in a much different situation. Was not expecting this full buy to be quite as impactful on TLP as it has been. And Recon, they've done it. They've just managed to bring it back. They've sort of went back to the drawing board very quickly again showing another sign that this team is very well coordinated absolutely coordination in spades here as the pinch oh. comes through onto tanaka so close to that double kill was tanaka but not close enough recon five now just two rounds away from an opening win here in the group stage game one the group stage here in week number 59 with the valorant sunday showdown this is just the first match of the day we've got lots more in store so definitely going to want to be keeping an eye out definitely going to want to be keeping an eye on this recon 5 team already showing some serious prowess here in the opening stages definitely looking like they have what it takes to take it on to the later stages of the tournament for trade like pros they're gonna have to recover after this one even if they are able to get some ground here in the second half they've already suffered some defeats here in this match and they've got to pick themselves up oh and that's exactly oh. how he starts there with tanaka getting the opening kill on maza that's also the spike right there as well so they have some information that there's a lot of mid at play so let's start working their way you see also the crossfire set up here chippo oh. actually managed to find an opening and there we go <laughs> this blade storm is making an inch into a mile right now for tlp who again gonna do what they can maybe finds one pick no Great trade from TLP, making the damage as minimal as possible. Papa Smurf already has the ultimate ready and able to buy back in again, probably from a help of a friend. So good round from them. Really fun. It, it's a lot more back and forth for them right now in this half. It's just unfortunately because of how successful the first half it's been, D. Recon, they're able to afford more mistakes than TLP, but at least TLP has given them a run for their money in this half. Well, absolutely. That was a do or die round for TLP. If they lost that round, there's probably no way back into this match for them. But they've completely reset the economy now for Recon 5. Recon 5 very much on a weird half buy here for this uh, 18th round here. Trade like pros, though, very much able to start bankrolling their economy. And Grim now getting that opening kill on the simple. The momentum now really rolling for trade like pros here. This is new found life, new wind in the sails here for the defenders. And they're going to use it. They're going to push forward, find two kills now in this round. Hooligan trying to find some real estate over on the A site, but now it's starting to get burned from the Nano Swarm. Zypher knows exactly where these attackers are at. There's Spike in the hands of also TLP as well. So this Whoa. is not really Whoa. anything else except just find and survive. Stealthy does manage to get the trade, though, which is nice. But really, at the end of the day, Recon, they're just vibing. They're just doing what they can. It's, it's Basically, that's about it. This uh, this round is done. Dusted. Unless I cast a curse this again, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> Never can be uh -oh. sure here. And Mazza there gets that kill on the Grim. Still life in this round. 30 seconds remaining now. Mazza and Stealthy pushing forward. Two on three. Still Hunter's Fury in the pocket for Mazza. Cosmic Divide ready to go for Papa Smurf. They have to go for the kills. Surely they can't just go for the spike plant here. And Stealthy now into that gravity well is in all sorts of trouble. But Mazza able to find the kill onto Papa Smurf. Now five HP remaining for Mazza. Pushes forward. Yeah. No time left on the clock for a Play spike for play. It's going to have to be kills. Mazza goes for it. But it's going to be Tanaka cleaning up shop. Picking up the triple kill and a seventh round on the board here for Trade Like Pros. A very successful second half so far especially compared to that first. Very true. So, we got to be aware that there is 
a run it back available with a divider for recon five to close this out in the buy round and if they do this both economies have been so wobbly that this will pretty much just lock it down so even though TLP has managed to give themselves some room, it's not really that much in the long run. They need to make this work, and they need to make sure that they can deny any ultimate values. It's Hooligan that's really the one to watch out for with this run it back. Oh, online once again, by the way. Tanaka playing a dangerous game, plays the dangerous game well, gets an opening pick yet again. Tanaka has been absolutely outstanding throughout this entire match. 18, 14, and 2 now is the jet well clear on the top of the leaderboard there. Cypher, meanwhile, on B site, has got a whole heap of trouble in the form of a pushing attack, and Maza oh is going to find him through the smoke there. Takes the head off of Zypher, so bringing us into this 4v4 now as the spike goes down. Post playing situation is ideal for Recon 5 as Hooligan does have the running back online once again. They're just going to drop it. Try to just see what they can find here. Maybe challenge a little bit of the defender size. Stealthy goes for the flank as well. The Hunter Fury is going to come out. Maz is able to fly in Grim, and this is over for TLP as they just get taken out one by one. There is going to be at least one picked out. Tanaka will go for the save, but will it be worth it at the end of the day? Because it's going to be match point here coming up here, D. Yeah, I mean, you touched on it earlier where it simply was the case that Recon 5 just had more rounds to give and less rounds they needed to pick up. And now with this single victory, they do move on to that prime match point point position there Tanaka forced to back away and all credit to Recon 5 and a great adjustment made on the attacking side there for that B call there that late hit pushed out on the site taking advantage of where Zypher was positioned out they're able to get control of that site take down that lone B defender and get themselves set up Recon 5 with the playbook in hand get themselves out onto match point just one round away from a clean 1-0 start to their group stage here but they've still got two more to go after this so anything could happen still very much anything on the table as these teams try to progress their way to the top 32 it is early in the day for groups you're right d this is just the first round remind you folks so nobody's going home after this game it is going to make it a little bit harder for one of the other two a nice little Meet and greet between Tanaka and Stealthy. Nobody goes down, nobody takes damage, but there is information that there's a, maybe some activity in mid, and Tanaka, opportunistic, will not find it, and that is the operator down. Hooligan finding this opening is pretty big. They're actually going to try to commit to A here. And TLP, this might be the beginning of the end for them here, D. This very well could be the last play of the match here. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf has a clutch already on the books for today. Is there another one on the cards? They're going to need a little bit of help. Zypher finds one, but won't find another as Hooligan takes him out. Okay. Grim, though, on the flank, takes down Mazza. That brings us into this 3v3. That's going to prompt the spike on over to B site here. So A site clear now for Trade Like Pros. Got to readjust. They've got to rotate now. As the spike makes its way over, uh, it makes its way over towards a site simple still a bit detached from the action that could be a problem here for trade like pros as the spike goes down very simple unfortunately with the footsteps chippo was able to read into that and tlp will be able to have a player advantage but the spike is down so they're going to be pressured here Grim's going to take some shots. Oh, boy. Hooligan's ready for it, though. Only finds one, and that is going to be it. They will be able to clutch it. They are still fighting for OT, as they will be four rounds away from it. Ah, uh, Ascent. Always the, always the giver and taker of maps, as I feel. Even though people love it for a best of one, it is a lot of 50-50, and this is why the map is so good, because it's so even. I mean, that was an absolutely brilliant play there from Trade Like Pros to weather the storm. Recon 5 had nearly the perfect setup there on A site. They had gotten absolutely dug in. They were entrenched and still Trade Like Pros able to get them unstuck. Thanks to that quick hit on highway from Chippo and Grim. 
Hooligans heroics not quite enough there to save the day for Recon 5 and they've got to keep fighting here for this victory. Once again, another one of those moments that keeps Recon 5 humble, keeps them aware that they've got to still fight for every round oh. and Hooligan now swinging for the fences, gets the opening kill on Tanaka. That's going to prompt the dash through here from Judge Stealthy. Judge Baby! Judge! Oh, for it's Let's a triple go. kill. Let's for go! Zypher taken out by Mazza. Chippo though on highway finds the kill onto Hooligan and Chippo picks up the double kill to close out the round. It's the full house for Zypher and yes. Chippo and trade like pros strike right back. Baby, I'm so happy I saw that. Oh my gosh, thank you observers. That was super awesome. Zypher with the judge play hanging out a boat. You can't diss the judge quite yet. That's on Tuesday. You can diss the judge all you want then. But for now, judge is almighty and powerful. And there we go. Recon 5 sent back to an eco. It's been a hot minute since they've done that. And this is going to be allowing at least TLP to be in the double digits. We're starting to close the gap. I do want to see some maybe priorities and picks of allowing their teammates to get those ultimates online because it is match point still forever and always and they got to be careful these sheriffs so i want to see tlp play it back play for intel and get out of the way don't give any leeway to recon 5 because they will make an inch into a mile here d absolutely and already they're on their way to getting that mile on the odometer Tanaka now. It's been so aggressive here on the defending side, and aggressive once more is oh, rewarded oh. and then punished quickly. Hooligan takes the head off of Tanaka. The kill's going one for one despite the eco situation here for the side of Recon 5. They started trudging their way over towards A site, but they've stopped in their tracks now. And they seem to start, they're starting to get a little bit cornered in here if they're not careful. They've got a hold of the mid corridor, but they haven't been able to make any progress towards the sites. Clock now well under 45 seconds here. Recon 5 has got to start making decisions, but there's not a lot of easy answers to this one. Chippo right around the corner here and has all kinds of ideas of what may be on the other side of this wall. Zypher there for backup here. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Simple sets up one star, sends out another. Now it's going to be the A play here for Recon 5. After all of that, Stealthy leading the way with the operator in hand, picked up off of Tanaka, and here comes Hooligan on the run it back, pushing forward onto site. Papa Smurf finds the damage. Oh, Oh, and it's Grim who finds the kill there. Less than 10 seconds, 10 seconds remaining. And Trade Like Bros absolutely slaughtering the attack. Recon 5 made absolutely zero progress. The off back in defenders' hands and Trade Like Pros onto double digits. Was a little scary though, I will admit. I was kind of on the edge of my seat here, just hoping that TLP would still be able to close it. They did an excellent job from them. Did not take too many opportunistics. They learned from Tanaka's mistake, with all due respect, and didn't go too aggressively. But we need to keep seeing that. Unfortunately though, they haven't been really able to get any of the ultimates online, but it seems like neither was Recon. I actually burned an ultimate as well, to be fair. Hooligan didn't get much value with the running back. A little opportunistic, and now this could give that a little more breathing room for TLP to start bringing it back. They're in the double digits now, D. Anything could happen at this point. Anything could happen whatsoever. Tanaka here blocked out of that usual aggressive angle that they have liked to take. Stealthy. No op, or no op in hand this time around. Sticking with the phantom, and that is ooh, a misstep nice. there from Simple, giving away that opening kill towards Tanaka once again. Would love to see the first blood count there that Tanaka has started to wrap up. And this is Trade Like Pros on their way to an 11th round now with a 5v3 advantage, advantage less than a minute remaining now on the clock. Grim burned down to 24 HP. Somewhat revealed, but Zypher is there for backup here. Maza now having to take this engagement. Hooligan, meanwhile, takes down Zypher. That's a big opening now for the side of Recon 5. Two members out onto A site, and TLP having to sort of back away. They've got to concede this ground now as the spike goes down. So player advantage, though, technically, even with the health being very low, they do manage to get a tag as well. So it's all very doable as Papa Smurf will semi-lead the charge. See what they can do here. They're just playing for info. They want to be smart about this. They know they have the player advantage, but they don't want to lose too many in the process. They see one in gen, they'll be able to get it and close it out. And there we go, Papa Smurf making sure the kids remaining are safe and they'll only lose two members in the process. The father stay clutch, if I'd like to say. So they go in and with an 11th round, a couple ultimates in their sleeve. 
and the ability to buy in over time is looking more and more realistic as this game goes on here, D. And Bemi, you sound overjoyed by the prospect here. Trade Like Bros have put on an absolutely it's momentum. A good, it's a good game. Yeah, and, and you sound very excited about it. Uh, Trade Like Bros <laughs> have put on a momentous second half here. I mean, from where we were at towards the end of the first half, we were eyeing down what could have potentially been a 9-3 to three first half for Recon 5, but Trade Like Pros able to scrap a couple rounds at the end of that first half and now have completely surged through the second half. Recon 5, just through virtue of their successful first half, have gotten themselves those few rounds needed to get themselves on the match point, but they haven't been able to find that all-important last step, that all-important oh, last man. round. Is it started here with the run it back from Hooligan? No, it started with the kill of Papa Smurf, taking down Stealthy, taking down yeah, Rev. Yeah, baby! Simple as Papa Popping off with the triple kill now. Just Hooligan remaining. Burn down through the smoke. 12 to 12. It's Let's overtime go. for the first group stage match of the day. You heard the man. Dilly said it. We are going to work, folks. We got a known for overtime going into this. Re TLP put in the work. They weren't as aggressive. Played together as a team were way less greedy in what they were trying to get out. And they did it. They did a great job. They knew exactly what they were doing. Papa Smurf leading the charge. A lot more confidence in their place. I love seeing that from TLP. Recon 5, they just simply got outplayed in a couple of standpoints. Unfortunately, I do think maybe some rotates were in order. It was a little too early to commit to that. If you saw a lot of ultimates and stuff going in your way, maybe kind of double up back out and get the fudge out and dodge. But here we are. Over time, we're going into this. It really does come down to who I think has still the better attack. Sometimes it comes to defense on NA, but I really do feel like the attack is going to be the big thing here. Who can be a little too eager? And will Recon 5 get punished for any type of place to go for? But it doesn't seem to be the case. D, already the first blood. Going to Tanaka in the second one as well. Oh, wow. This is trade like pros in a reawakening, a renaissance here for trade like pros in this game one. A flawless start here to this first round of overtime. Maybe first only round of overtime here for trade like pros. They completely seem to have control of this game but more so than that recon 5 have completely lost the script they have no footing they have no confidence it it's a completely different team from what we've seen in the first half and that is all up to the pressure that trade like pros is exuding here from the second half into this overtime trade like pros firmly in control and now they are the ones oh, on man. match point they are the ones looking to put the pressure on tanaka trying to find yet another first blood has to back away from this engagement but zypher now sneaking their way through the smokes here this could be the linchpin here for the defenders but it's gonna be tanaka getting yet another first blood and there goes the defender seizing on the moment this is trade like pros in a 5v2 on match point tanaka oh. up the double kill it's only maza remaining trade like pros now storming into B main here. They take down Maza. They flawlessly get the win. Game one of group stage. That is Trey Like Pros completing the comeback. Talk about finishing in style. An overtime comeback with two flawless rounds in a row back to back with even economy. That is insane. Anakin must be jumping for joy at this given moment in time as they must be seeing a great comeback. Honestly, that it came down to adaptability from both sides. You said it earlier with Recon 5, able to change their style and attack to sort of try to punish the aggression. And almost at this point, they doubled up on the aggression. I was maybe not too certain about it earlier on, but Recon, like you also said, fell into that pressure and really just sort of they own the mind games, and at that point, TLP had it in spades at that moment. Absolutely. It was really down to that momentum shift uh, towards the end of the game where Trade Like Pros 
they had made the adaptation to the adaptation, if you will. Midway through the second half, it did look like Recon 5 had figure out, figured out how to work their way around the defense there for Trade Like Pros. But what they hadn't figured out is how to deal with Tanaka absolutely unmatched at the top of the scoreboard. 27-18-2 combat score there. I would say not doing Tanaka justice. I would say that's a 400, but that's not what math says there. What I will say is <laughs> nine first bloods for Tanaka. An absolutely unreal stat. And goodness, if this is just game one, I think I'm going to need another cup of coffee to get us through the rest of this group stage. Yeah, I'm sure also Papa Smurf needs it as well. Just seeing their kids popping off must be so <laughs> proud. But yeah, we're going to go ahead go ahead and let everybody get caffeinated up or whatever liquid they need. Also, get some water as well. You folks have been watching and being on the edge of your seats as well. Everybody, get some drinks. We'll be right back with another exciting game for you. Hope you're hydrated. <laughs> 